Facebook, you have what's called the sheet. Change your sheet view to normal view in the bottom left-hand corner. Let's zoom in to 250% so we can see things a little bit easier. What I'm going to be showing you guys today is the formula if-then statement. We just talked about uh, grades. So let's go ahead, since mid-quarters come out tomorrow. So to do the if-then statement, let's start with grades. So what grade do we need to pass? 66. All right, so 66% equals pass. OK. And zero to what? Good, 65% is fail. There we go. Should we say 66 or Oh, sorry. Uh, we'll save that later. OK, uh, go ahead. Let's do some formatting to our, make it look a little bit nicer. OK, and we'll do that. OK, let's put in a few people's names for grades. Uh, so we'll start with Justine, OK, and uh, Hosanna, what grade did Christine get? 55. 55? Wow. And then <laughs> let's do Joe. 44? Did I hear that right? Is it possible to get this lower grade at the school? <laughs> Yeah, but, but he did the bonus, so he got 66. What about Sarah? Isabel, what grade did Sarah get? <laughs> what, 95? That's pretty good. <laughs> OK. Um, let's go ahead, insert a new row above a1, control click, and insert. And then let's go ahead. This is the name, and this is the grade, and so on. So we'll bold that. OK, uh, right now they're not in percentages. They're just in numbers. So how do you change it to percentage? Yes, format, cells, go to percentage, uh, no decimal place, and then hit OK. But when you hit OK, the numbers are going to be all changed incorrectly. Is that right? No. So go ahead, change them back to what they should be. In the future, you would put decimal 55, and then it'll change it to 55%. Okay, go ahead, add an F1, call result. <laughs> okay, so does everybody have this? Do which part again? Oh, um... Basically, you can just delete it and highlight your cells and go to Format Cells Percentage, OK? And then put in your percentage. Or if you put Decimal 55, it'll change it to 55%. OK? We're good?
Okay, let's do this thing. Okay, so in this result, we need to say if they pass or if they fail. So we're going to use a formula, which is called the if-then statement. So up in your palette, hit the f of x, the formula builder. And in the search func search for if, and then double click it, and then you'll have your builder right here. Okay? So, uh, value one. This is the value that it's going to look up to see if a number is true or false. So we need to have a true or false statement. So, um, Hosanna, what, what, did, what did we say was our statement? If it was over 66. Yeah, if it is over 66, yes. So that's what it, that's a sentence that summarizes it in general terms. Let's go with technical terms, Excel terms. So if what? 66. Give me cell references. Yes. If E2 is what? Greater than or equal to, yes. So right here, you can change this to greater than or equal to. Okay. So it's greater than equal to what? Now, Hosanna. Or give me a cell reference. Good, A3. And the reason why we don't type in 66% in the formula is because what if next year they change the standard? Now, to be able to pass, you need a 68. So all we would have to do is change A3, and then it would automatically adjust our grades. Okay, so A3. So if this is greater than that, then what? Yes. But well, you're not going to type it in, right? You're just going to click on a cell reference. Pass. Else. What? Fail. Okay. Now, which cells need an absolute cell reference? The dollar signs. A3. Correct. A3. So when we copy the formula down, that will not change. This cell reference will not change. But E2, when we copy down E2, we want it to change because then we need D3, like Joe's grade, and then B4. What about B3 and B4? Do we need to dollar reference that? Well, you do. Yes, yes, you do. They need a dollar reference. The reason, good question, why? Because when we copy this down, you know how it works when you copy down, right? If it says A3, you copy it down, it's going to say what? Zero. A4. And then you copy it down, raise is going to be A5, and so on. Okay, so notice in our equation, up here it says A3. When we copy the equation down, like this, okay, A3, if we copy it down, this is going to be A4, and then we're going to copy it down, it's going to be A5, and then copy it down A6. But what's in A6? Nothing. So we need A3 to always be this cell reference A3, because it's always going to reference that percentage. But for E2, in our equation, when we copy it down, we don't always want it to reference Christine's grade. Like for Joe, we want it to be E3. You guys see that? Does that make sense? Good question. Okay, does yours work? No. Okay. So, now instead of pass, let's just say good job. So notice now it automatically changes to good job and fail. Try again next year. 